hey guys happy easter and welcome to another video of the day so today i will be making the nigerian fried rice and yes we have nigerian fried rice which is quite different from chinese and the italian fried rice this is me trying to prep the cow liver that i've just got from um, brixton market i'm beginning to love brixton market and i love the fact that it's quite close to where i am it reminds me of the oshudi market so i'm just going to prep that up wash up the liver and put it in the pot and allow it to boil you can choose to cook your fried rice with any kind of protein that you want could be fish goat meat cow meat depending on your preference but today i'm going to be using chicken i'm just washing up the chicken right now i am washing off the blood stains and then i'm going to go ahead to add some ingredients i've just added jerk chicken ingredients and i will put in some no cube salt onions depending on exactly what you prefer to put in your chicken or how you want it to taste i'm also going to go ahead to put in some curry and thyme because i'm going to use that to boil the rice i will then stir that mixture to make sure that all the ingredients seeps into the chicken before i then proceed to transferring it to the cooker to boil so what differentiates the nigerian fried rice from the others is its color which it derives from the curry condiments that has been included in the meat stock it's a very colorful meal which can be served in any occasion and parties i'm now going to go ahead to prep my vegetables i've got green beans green pepper carrots sweet corn red kidney beans and onions I'm going to add some garlic so it gives it a little bit of um, flavor I will add that to the pepper and blend it all together and then include it in the sauce when I'm making the fried rice sauce my chicken now is ready and has boiled to taste I'm just going to switch that cooker off and then drain the chicken off the chicken stock and preserve that stock because that's what i'm going to be using to make the fried rice remember that what gives nigerian fried rice its color is the curry that has been included in the meat stock so you have to use the meat stock to make the fried rice and then yeah people usually fry their chicken but i've decided to grill mine because i feel it's much healthier that way so what i usually do is after i've boiled the chicken i put it in the oven So we're going to go ahead to start cooking our fried rice first of all i've got my oil in the pot and i'm going to go ahead to put my onions because that's the first thing that usually you want to put in there so it will fry for a bit before you include any other um, vegetables that you will be using to make your fried rice you can go ahead to put in your pepper and garlic um, mixture which has already been blended fry that for a bit and make sure that it's fried to taste um, make sure not to fry for so long because you know pepper can be a, a, a bit irritable in the nose go ahead to put your green peas first the reason i put this first is because it's usually the hardest to cook at this point you want to put in your seasoning which is like your no cube um if you want to put in some thyme or maggi or anything else that you want to include in your sauce just make sure you put it at this stage and at this point because you're going to be mixing your rice with the sauce go ahead to put in your carrots and all the vegetables that you've prepped in the beginning of your um, meal making your meal put in the um, green pepper the sweet corn the um, kidney, red kidney beans everything just put them one after the other and gradually stir and as you stir try not to stir for so long so that your vegetables don't lose taste 
the color is beginning to come together now as you can see like i said it's a very colorful meal there is the yellow green red and everything is just like you know enticing at this time and i can already perceive like the aroma of that fried rice coming together i'm going to close my lid now and leave it a bit to cook and voila here you go yes my fried rice is almost ready i will go ahead to put in the cow liver that i've already chopped in you know i've chopped them in little little pieces and uh stir that so it will cook together and close my lid again for it to boil and this is now time for us to mix the um, rice and the sauce you can see the rice has been cooked already i cooked it parboiled it to taste and i cooked it with a little bit of curry so that's what's giving it that yellowish um, color and yes this is how the mixture would look gradually mix your rice with the fried rice sauce so it would then come together and this is how it would look all you need to do is close that lid and let it cook for a bit and voila this is the way the chicken looks from the oven well cooked dried up and ready to eat yeah it's time for us to serve and you would see how colorful this meal looks and this is the nigerian fried rice people do well to like this video share to your family and friends and for people who are just cooking fried rice for the very first time i hope this has helped you in one way or the other enjoy and bon appetit thank you